Hey. <laughs> Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to it if you've never been here. My name is Amy, and we're gonna talk about some really good things today. I, okay, I could have potentially had a lot, a, a lot, a lot of favorites this month, but I was like, no, we're going to hone in, we're going to pick only the things that you feel like you could weep about, and then that's what you're gonna talk about, and that's it. I've just been trying so much new stuff, and just been loving everything, so this is what I've really stuck to this month, and what I really would want to recommend, with the exception of one thing which I'm still on the fence about but I need to talk about it but um yeah so without further ado let's do it okay of course we're gonna start off with nail polish first and foremost we have this from the OPI Hello Kitty collection this is called starry eyed for dear Daniel also side note I'm really hot and like my mustache is sweating so that's what's happening, but maybe it'll just look like a highlight. Well, that is highlight. Let's just, here we go. Anywho, this is from the OPI Hello Kitty collection. It's called Starry Eyed for Dear Daniel, and I set this aside when I first got it for Valentine's Day, and that's exactly what I did, and I loved it. I will say it did chip rather quickly because, I mean, it's a glitter polish, and I never put glitter on my toes because it's gonna chip, and I don't want it to chip because I like my toes to last, like, three weeks to a month. I don't know if that's gross, but that's how long I wait in between pedicures. But this was so pretty when I got it on my nails. I was like, you know what? Slap that on my toes. And I regretted it because it chipped, not instantly, but within a week. And that's unheard of for my toes. Loved the color, the formula. I don't know. Let me know how you did with this. If, you, if you've tried it before with only two coats or if you tried it on top of something. I don't know, but it is so gorgeous. It's really pretty. It's a pink a pretty heavy pink glitter color, but it has silver and gold in there as well, and it was just beautiful, so there's that. <laughs> Next, I tried a polish from the New Orleans collection, which if you missed my review on it, I will slap that right up there. I keep saying slap today. Happy Slapsgiving. But in that, I talked about how I was kind of underwhelmed by the polishes just looking at them, but this surprised the crap out of me. This was the one. I almost didn't buy this. I'm so glad I did. I almost didn't buy this because I'm like, it's just purple. It looks like a grape fit. It just kind of looks like whatever. No, it is a very unique, dark, yet kind of bright, fun, colorful purple, and I loved it. They put this on my nails. I still have it on my toes. But I was just flabbergasted. I was just like gasping, and I was so excited. Excited. All the gr nail girls came over and was like, oh my gosh, I love that. They didn't have this collection in yet. I was more on top of my game than the nail salon with my OPIs. But regardless, it was really pretty, a really nice formula as well. And last, we have what I have on my nails right now, which I actually just got these done today. This is from the new Essie Spring Collection 2016. This is called Lounge Lover. Ooh. I actually already filmed a review on this, but I haven't put it up yet. It's going to go up after this, so subscribe if you don't want to miss it. I'll try not to sing. But um, it's really pretty. I think it does remind me of Peach Side Babe, which always, if I'm talking about nail polish and I start to look over here, it's because they're all right here and I'm just like, hey, what's up? But this does remind me of Peach Side Babe, but this one is a little bit more coral, a little less peach, but it is still quite like a neon corally peach. This is like a neon polish without the gross neon formula, which I'm really excited about. When I saw the Essie Spring 2016 and the Resort 2016, I got kind of dare I say aroused? No, I'm, I'm not gonna say aroused. I got excited. And they're both really pretty. Essie actually sent me this collection, which obviously was very exciting. And like I said, I did do that review. I will have it up next, so stay tuned. But uh, yeah, I totally love this. A really nice formula. Now let's get into thy makeup. I have some concealers and some stuff for the face. Very first thing is this Maybelline Dream Velvet Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation in number five. I did a first impressions video on this during drugstore week slap that on up there. This piece of hair is driving me nuts. It's always this piece of hair that pisses me off when I wash my hair freshly. That's why I never wash my hair. But anywho, I tried this and I was so amazed. Instantly I loved it. I wanted to try this because, <clears throat> squeeze, when I saw other people try this it looked like it could possibly be somewhat similar to my Jouer Matte Moisture Tint and it is. It's the same kind of like whipped kind of gel like, I don't know how to explain it. It's really nice. It goes on really smooth. I'm wearing it today. I've been wearing it every day since I tried it in that video. And I also just love the color match. I think I did a good job color matching my neck. It can be hard for me. Oh, I got it right. Gel whipped foundation. I think I said both of those words and I didn't even know that's how this was marketed. I'm flawless. I have a concealer favorite. This is the Bomb Time Bomb and this was sent to me a while ago and I just now got around to using it because I ran out of my NYX uh, favorite concealer, the Incredible Waterproof Concealer, which I ordered more, but in between that I started using this and now I love it and I won't stop. I have the color Lighter Than Light. 
of course. <laughs> and this is just a really nice concealer, and what I love most about it is it's great at covering up redness. I have some foundations and some concealers that like, you can put as much as you want on, but they're not gonna cover redness, which I'm like, what the heck? But this does such a nice job of covering redness. So I use this on my spots, but honestly, this is a great concealer for anywhere. I have another concealer, but I wanna talk about this brand. This is a brand called Nude Sticks, and I actually went to my very first beauty event. I felt very YouTube official, but I also got lipstick all over my shirt and embarrassed the crap out of myself, so it didn't go that well. <laughs> but I got to discover this amazing new brand that I am obsessed with. It was Nude Sticks. It's these two girls and their mom and it's just really nice products and their their theory behind everything is everything should be you But better so kind of like effortless beauty so all of their products are in stick form So I, there's like concealer. These are their blush and lip pencils They have eyeshadow pencils brow pencils contouring pencils highlighting pencils like everything is amazing I got some goodies at the event and then they also sent me more of their collection later to try and I'm still trying everything out But two products that I just had to mention in this video are as as follows. <laughs> this is the Nude Sticks Concealer Pen and I have Light 2. They sent me Light 1 and Light 2. These, all of these pens and pencils, pencils, this is not pens. <laughs> all of these pencils are so creamy. I had a very busy week last week in which I had to be out all day and have events at night and I still had to look nice. I kept this in my purse. It works so well. Just on my spots or any redness, it's just such a nice thing to keep in your bag and it's just like I felt better all week knowing that I had this in my bag to touch up my face and it works well over powder. I know you're not supposed to put cream over powder, but I was in a real pinch and I did it and it was fine. And then the product I think I even like even more is this lip and cheek pencil in blue blush you guys. I don't even know if I've used it on the lips. I'm obsessed with putting it on my cheeks. Cream products can go either way. This lasts maybe not all day, but it lasts for a very long time, and I just love the color. Let me show you. So here's what it looks like. It's a little pencil, and they all come with these, their own like nice sharpeners. It's not quite like, I guess that looks like a blush color. To me, that's not what I would name blush, but it makes the perfect blush. It's so beautiful. I am so obsessed with it, and it just blends out really nicely. That can be my issue with cream blush, is like you can see where it's Started and where it blended to this just blends in so nicely so seamlessly and I'm obsessed and I have more of these and I want to try more But I've just been really obsessed with this one <laughs> before we move on to the rest of the face I have some brush favorites both are from morphe. I ordered these off Outlook literally the end of January No, the end of December the end of December and they just got here about two weeks ago No more than that three weeks ago you guys I am obsessed. Both of these are Jaclyn Hill recommendations. Are you surprised? No. <laughs> this first one is the Morphe M439, which I've heard great things about this, not just from Jaclyn Hill, but from everybody. My Sigma F80 Flat Top Kabuki Brush. Look at that whole name just spew out of my mouth like I'm a robot. I've said it so many times. That brush has started molting on me and I don't understand why. I have had it for quite a while, but I've never had that problem with other Sigma brushes. Maybe I washed it badly or something, but I switched from that to my 3D HD Sigma Kabuki Brush, which I also love, but I've been using this. I don't know if I can say I like it more. I like it just as much, greater than or equal to. But I do like this because it's a little bit different because it's more of like a round shape and it's just great for buffing. I've been using it every day since I got it. It is amazing. And then also I'm obsessed with this Morphe G Eight blush brush. I think it's called a blush brush. It is the perfect shape for just, at least for my cheeks, to just get in there and just pop it on. I love that it's a little bit tapered. I have some contouring and highlighting faves. Duh. First one is this Makeup Geek contouring powder in Breakup. This is for cool porcelain. It's just been a really nice light gray ashy tone contour color. I have it on today. I've had it on ever since I got it, which I still haven't gotten a damn Z palette for these because I'm lazy AF and I need one. I'm gonna order that today. This is really the only one I've been using just because, like I said, they're not in a Z palette, so I'm not using them very much. I need to have them like all in front of me. But this is just absolutely gorgeous. I can feel washed out or muddy with some contour shades because I am very fair, but this was made for me and it is so beautiful and I would highly recommend. You guys know I love the Makeup Geek blush formula and this is very similar, very easy to blend out. Totally love. Next, I have a product I haven't talked about. I, I was planning on hauling this and I still might in like a high-end haul, so let me know if you would want that. It would be more of like a Sephora slash high-end haul slash review because it's it's a lot of stuff I've actually been trying, so maybe that'll be helpful. Maybe I'll do that. This is the Hourglass Ambient Brilliant Strobe Light highlight. It is gorgeous. I was not planning on getting one of these just because I don't know. I have so many highlights, but I walked past them in Sephora. I swatched them all on my hand and this one was amazing. This one, I've heard some like mixed things about. I think it's incredible. It is more on the yellow side, which for me is perfect. You guys, it is so beautiful. It's so beautiful. I'm wearing it today, actually. I've been wearing it every single day since I got it because it's like, it's a nice highlight, but it's still an hourglass ambient lighting powder. So it's more just kind of less intense. So I don't know how to explain it. It's just 
gorgeous and I love that it pulls a little bit yellow because I just think it suits my skin tone. I think they had five different ones so if you're not yellow or you don't want a yellow one, I mean it's not yellow but you can see what I mean. It pulls yellow but they have a lot of different ones you can choose from and I, I've just been obsessed with this. I'm obsessed. This is the first Hourglass product I am obsessed with so yay. Maybe not yay because they're expensive. Something not expensive. Well not too expensive. This is the NYX. Let me get it open. This is the NYX Strobe of Genius Highlighting strobing palette. I am obsessed. Illuminating palette, that's what it's called. I did an entire review video on this, so I'm just going to breeze past it. You can click right there if you're interested, but it is gorgeous. A really nicely formulated palette with highlights that aren't chalky, not too streaky. They work well as highlights and as eyeshadows, and it's just beautiful. So check out that video if you want to know more, because I've talked about this so much. My last face favorite is maybe, like, I love this so much I'm willing to go spend the ridiculous amount of money again just to have it as a backup when I run out of it because I'm obsessed with it. <laughs> this is the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani Collaboration Blush Palette. You guys, I'm obsessed. I mentioned in last month's favorites that I loved the eyeshadow palette, which I'm still freaking loving, but I, I bit the bullet and I spent the money on this damn thing and I don't regret a single thing because it's my life. If you are a fair lady, right now go get this because it's just so nice, especially this OC color. It is so just different than anything I own and just so flattering. It's just kind of got like an iridescent peachy glow to it and it is gorgeous. I love this because I can wear all of these shades. Oh, my laundry's done. The laundry can wait. I love this because I can wear all of these shades today. I am wearing Lo-Fi, which is an Instagram filter. Hey! A really nice nude if you have pale skin. This one is beautiful. They're just all amazing. So I can't recommend this enough. I've been trying to get my sister to buy it for weeks. She's just like, I have so much makeup. I'm like, Katie, you don't understand. So buy it because it's literally incredible. And I don't know if they'll ever make this a permanent thing. I highly doubt it, but they sh maybe they'll sell these individually. I don't know, but I'm like stressed about how much I love them because I'm eventually going to run out of them because I've been using them like crazy. I'm an insane person. I wanted to mention what I have on my lips. This is the NYX Lingerie uh, Liquid Lipstick in Embellishment. I've been testing these like crazy because I can't decide how I feel about them. If they were based on just color, this would be an absolute favorite. I'm wearing it today. I like that it's kind of like a purpley toe gray you kind of look dead color, but the formula is strange. Even as I'm talking, I'm sure that it's wearing off on the inside of my lips. Well, not too bad. I did wear one of these to a party the other night when which there was food and I was eating it and it just was complete, the heat does not do well with it. So it was just completely coming off. I was very self-conscious in it, but I love the colors. And it's so weird because they're so hard to get off. Like don't, you have to commit to wearing this. You can't like wear it on and be like, oh, I changed my mind. You need like a full shower and seven makeup wipes to get these off, which means they should last through food, but they don't. So I don't know. I'm, let me know if you guys would want like a full in-depth review swatch video on these because I'm just torn. And let me know what you think about them if you tried them because I don't know. I don't know why I mentioned it. I just felt like I should. Okay guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss anything. And like I said, that SE review will be up shortly. And uh, yeah, I'm excited for spring polish and spring makeup and just spring in general. And uh, yeah, I love you guys. I hope you're having a great day. Let me know some of your favorites or flops down below in a comment. I'll talk to you guys soon. I love you and yeah. Bye!